You've seen this turntable already once. You're seeing it again today as we're going to go ahead and set it up and listen to it and let you know what we think. Don't go away. Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Now you've seen this Retro Life turntable in the unboxing, in the first look. And I've got it down here in the kitchen. I've got the dust cover off. And uh, truth in advertising, I'm shooting this the second time around because I must have been stoned or something the, the first time I tried to set uh, film the setup. Uh, I kept making mistakes. The video footage out of two cameras was so bad, it was virtually unusable. So I'm kind of redoing it, okay? I'm not going to replay it because I've played it, and I've got some decent footage of that. Um, but I'm going to re-show you how I set everything up and how I get this ready for daily use. Um, and I, there's just no other way to do this and make it look nice other than to... Uh, reshoot it. So we're just going to go through all the steps over again so that you can see what we're doing and then we'll move on from there. So with no further ado, let's get this set up. Okay, for a turntable, you need several things. You need obviously the turntable, you need a receiver or an amp, you need a preamp, you need records, you need speakers, Okay, you need all of those things to work. Now, there are some ways to cut down on that. For instance, if you have a turntable that has a built-in preamp, you don't need a preamp anymore. In this case, I can use nothing but this turntable and a set of powered speakers. So that is a really nice little way to go if you're really crunched on space. But once you've got all that stuff, the process for getting it set up is going to be the same. You're going to balance the tone arm. You're going to set the tracking force. If your turntable has anti-skate, you're going to set that. And then you're going to align the cartridge. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So this is your counterweight. And you see it just turns one way and then it turns the other okay this is how you set your tracking force but first we have to make sure that the tone arm is balanced and level so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lock it we're going to move it out here into free space and let it go and see what it does well it bottoms out so it means there's too much weight going forward so we're going to move the weight back we're looking for it to pop a wheelie. Okay, it's popping a wheelie now. See, we push it down, let go, and it goes up. Now from there, because we know we're close, what we're going to do is we're going to start to turn it back the other way a little bit at a time until it hovers level. All right, so what we want is if we lift up on it, we want it to drop down, and if we push down on it, we want it to pop up, which it's doing, okay? Now, if you look here on the, the counterweight, you have the big counterweight in the back, and you have this little black dial. What we're going to do is we're going to hold the counterweight so it doesn't move, and we're going to move the black dial till it's on zero on this little hash mark here, all right? So we now have the tone arm balanced and zeroed out. Now we can dial in the tracking force that is specific to each cartridge. In this case, it's 3.5. So we've got that zeroed out. So all we have to do is from the back here, we turn this 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. And there we have the tracking force for this particular cartridge. Now, let me tell you about anti-skate. So anti-skate 
is a force that pushes the needle this way and this way in the grooves of the record. Now, you want the needle to ride nice and perfectly in the middle of the grooves. So, Anti-Scape allows you to set that. The instruction manual for this turntable says it has some sort of Anti-Scape setting here, but for the life of me, I can't figure it out. I don't see any way to adjust the Anti-Scape on here. And the instructions are absolutely useless. So I have to assume it's for a different version of this turntable, okay? That's, that's my guess. I don't know. All I know is I can't find any way to set any anti-skate on this, so we're going to skip it. All right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to align the cartridge. Okay, so what you need is you need a protractor, and Retro Life is kind enough to provide one. And it just goes over the spindle at the point indicated. Okay. And it sits on your turntable. And what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to put the, the needle. I'm going to unlock it first because I'm an idiot. We're going to take the needle and we're going to put it on the A spot. Not the G spot, the A spot. Sorry for the bad joke, kids. And what we want to do is we want to look and see if the cartridge is straight to the grid. If it is, we then go over to the B spot, line it up on the dot, and check to see if it's lined up to the grid. It's really perfect to the B one, not so much to the A one, so we would want to adjust this. And that's why we have our little screwdriver here. We'll um, loosen up these two little screws, We'll adjust the cartridge according to the A, get it lined up, tighten it back down, then we'll check both spots, and if it's right, we're in business. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this here so we can work on it, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we can take it over to the A, And it looks like it needs to shift a little bit this way. And then with it done, we can snug up the two screws. Don't over tighten them. Double check. I'm liking that. And I'm liking that. So we're good to go. All right, save your protractor for next time you need it. Put that to the side, put that to the side. Now we can get ready and get this plugged in and ready to play some records. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first turn on our powered speakers so that they're accessing Bluetooth. Okay, now we can turn this on and we'll watch the uh, blue flashing light on the speakers. When it gets a signal, see it goes solid, okay? It's now paired via Bluetooth. All right, let's cue up an album. Cheap trick at Budokan. And you're not gonna hear a bit of this because YouTube, you know, for something like this, you ought to be able to play the music, okay? You just ought to be. Okay, so here's your 45 and your 33 switch. Okay, so we got it on 33, we got it on start, do that, okay, and here we go.
Okay, so there we have it. Um, and I got to tell you, I'm blown away. Okay, this is a, a nice economy um, turntable, but it is beautiful and it sounds fantastic. It checks all the boxes, okay? Um, I still prefer my Fluence turntables uh, simply because of things like I like the tone arm better, I like the metal accoutrements instead of these uh, plasticky knobs, but there is not one thing wrong with this turntable. This is amazing, and I love the fact that it broadcasts Bluetooth. So with a pair of powered speakers like this, you don't, you don't even have to... I can put these anywhere in the room and I'll get the music from my turntable. That is a really, really nice feature. That is a really, really nice feature. Um, the only issue I had with it was the anti-skate. I don't have a clue what they're trying to tell me on how to, to adjust that. Um, the cartridge is an Audio-Technica, so it comes with a pretty decent cartridge. And uh, it just is a great turntable. So if, if you're in the market and maybe the, the Fluence is a little too high priced, maybe this is where you go. Um, it's beautiful, functional, and wonderful. I, I love it, and I hope you love this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss one of my music videos. If you have any questions or comments or know how to work the anti-skating, please put it down in the comments below. I really do love to hear from you guys. Okay, I'm going to listen to a little bit of music and get out of here. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.